Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Mix and Match Robbers is a very small, very portable kids game. It comes in a very small box, which I appreciate so much. My kids, when we travel, like to pack a lot of games for who'd want to play board games. Of course they do. But the smaller the packaging, the better, because I normally have to end up carrying those or getting a wagon for them. So it's very much appreciated, a portable children's game. This game is fairly easy. It should be inexpensive to find. And what you do is you lay out different combinations of people with different feet, heads, and whatnot. And then when you flip over a card, you're looking for that exact one. But there's so many to pick from that it takes a little while. So you're mixing and matching the robbers that come into it. It's a matching game. Everything is face up. And it's just a timed game. We try to find it as quickly as possible. Unless you have a lot of luck into it, it's probably something your eyes will move quicker and recognize things faster than your kids. So you might want to hold back a little bit on this one because there's not a whole lot of luck in it. It's just a matter of finding the right card that's on the table. This is a fine game. I think at its price point, it works. Kids really like it. It's one I decided to purge just because I have a lot of matching games. And this one just didn't hold up the plays. The kids weren't asking for it. Um, it's a finely designed game. I think it's very good if you're looking for a cheap matching game then this would be it it's not a memory game it's a matching game so you're looking at a card okay i need to find the one that corresponds to that and that's kind of what you're doing here for me a purge but i don't want to say it's going to be a negative to the game it was just something that didn't click with our family the game design is fine it does what it does really well it's portable and it's a very cheaply priced game here is mix and match robbers from hava game very portable game this can easily go inside your suitcase if you're going away. Here is the rule book, which we'll take a look in a few minutes. You're going to get one of those Haba dice with the different colors on the sides. Very nice. It's printed on there. It's not, it feels like a sticker, but it's like built into it. It's kind of what it feels like. And then you're going to get a number of these little Hobbit cards. I keep mine all bagged up. But you can see the different, there's the legs and the torsos. And you can see the heads right there, the full bodies. Uh, they're pretty good. They're small, but you need a lot of them on the table. So being small is going to be very, very helpful with what you're doing here. To find the quality to be pretty good, although kids may struggle without parents keeping this in good shape. The artwork on it is very colorful. Kids do like it. They like the animals that are here. So overall, a win in components. So for the rule book, it's really weird for a Hava game. It's going to spread all out and be in different colors, like an old map. The English rules are going to be on this side. So whatever rules you have, it will be very large. Let me see if I can get it all in. So it's going to go from all the way up here and just go straight down. Easy to read. Plenty of pictures, but the font is a little small. So be wary of that if you cannot read that well. A very small print. Okay, so to set up the game, you're going to put the blue, yellow, and green backs and flip over the top card of each. Then you'll take the character cards, you shuffle those 27 cards up, and they will be shuffled. So then what you'll do is you'll take these cards, and you'll put them face up. I'm putting them all right here, just so you can easily see kind of what is going on. And you would put them all face up, so all the players would be able to see, and be able to grab at these cards as needed. I'm going to put as many out as possible. To kind of illustrate, but you'll probably want to spread these out a little bit so everybody can grab them. I'm not really sure if I can get them all in frame, but that's kind of what's going on. Then the first player will roll the die. Whatever color it is will quickly flip over that card. Then they will try to find the person card that matches it. Do you see it yet? which I think it is this one. If you grab the wrong one, you're out for the turn, but I think that matches it. If I'm able to match it, then I would score this point and be the person to roll it next. Then we would flip the green one over and I would look for this one, which I believe I got that one a lot quicker. It is right there. That would also score me a point. Once no cards can be drawn from the pile, you count up how many you got correct. Most ones wins the game. There is a variant to play stealing where everybody will have the cards they've already collected up in front of them. And if this happens to come up again with the stack, then somebody can take it from your pile and steal it from you. But that requires everybody to keep their cards kind of within a stealing diff distance. If you want to play with that variant, it is available and it's a lot more cutthroat. 
Who should buy this game? It's going to be strictly for kids. This is one when you're playing with your kids, you need to hold back a little bit. It doesn't have a whole lot of luck into it. A lot of it's just looking at the cards and matching things up. Um, for us, the matching didn't hold the attention of the kids as much as I wanted. I feel like maybe if it had an IP on it, I hate to say that because some people are going to roll their eyes at me. I feel like if maybe it had an IP on it, it would have held their interest a little bit longer. I'm not sure how that would have worked exactly, mixing up you know, Pirates of the Caribbean head with the Cinderella body. I don't know. But, you know, it didn't really hold their attention very long, so we're going to purge this one. I have a lot of matching games. I have a lot of memory games. I have a lot of dice rolling games. So I felt like I hit this on other games. But if you're looking for a cheaply priced, small box, very portable matching game, this one fits the bill for you. And I think you could have a lot of fun with it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channels. It really helps us grow. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching. And everybody else, keep playing.